there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited to show you my most recent fabulous find and I absolutely love this foundation. This is the Pericone MD No Makeup Foundation Serum and it's what I have on today and amazingly I have had this makeup on, this foundation, for 14 hours now. I put it on at 7.30 this morning and I'll show you the try on in just a few minutes and now it is 9.30 so it's been 14 hours. I did not powder this all day and look at the beautiful skin-like finish that this foundation brings. It is truly amazing. And I will say it's almost a little bit too oily for me. I'm an oily skin person, but I do have to say that I've never had a foundation that at the end of 14 hours does not look cakey, but it just looks like beautiful glowing skin. So let me tell you a little bit about this foundation, and then I'll show you how I applied it first thing this morning at 7.30, and then I'll give you a wear test at various points in the day and show you how it wore throughout the day. And again, this is the Pericone MD No Makeup Foundation Serum, and basically it's designed to look like no makeup on your skin. And here it is, and it comes on a little dropper, and it applies very, very much like water. There you go. As you can see, it's not really very creamy. It's more like water with a little bit of pigment in it. It's very, very thin, but I think it's a truly beautiful foundation. Let me go back to the box and I'll tell you some of the details about this foundation. This is a very skin-like foundation with an SPF of 20. It says here it's a skin improving serum foundation that creates a semi-matte finish. And it is semi-matte, however, right now I'm a little greasy at the end of 14 hours. With buildable coverage, which I certainly thought that it was, it says this lightweight skin softening formula visibly improves dark spots and uneven skin tone for visibly smoother, more uniform skin over time. So supposedly this isn't just a foundation, it's actually a serum that improves your skin. And one of the key ingredients is neuropeptides and it says unites surface cells to fight wrinkles. Powerful protein-like building blocks offer the ultimate visible antidote to wrinkles, sagging, dullness, and discoloration in your skin. And daisy flower extract, it says naturally evens skin tone. So this foundation supposedly doesn't just look more like skin, it actually improves your skin as you wear it. And the reason I'm calling this Pericone MD foundation a fabulous find is because as we get a little older, past 30, 40, 50, or onward, sometimes when we apply foundation, it does cover up the things we want to be covered, but it can give us that chalky kind of older look to our skin but I really think this foundation is different. I think this foundation can really bring on the youthful glow. So let's go back to 7.30 this morning and I'll show you how it applied. Well, I'm going to go ahead and apply this Pericone MD foundation and I've been using this for about the past week and I actually had my sister ask me last night, we went to a restaurant with a friend. My sister did ask what foundation I had on and she didn't have any comment on if she liked it or not, but I assume since she asked, she must have liked it. Sisters are funny that way. I'm kind of a complimenter and I don't think she is. Okay, this foundation totally smooths beautifully over the skin. It is very thin and watery, unlike a lot of foundations that are creamier and thicker and that would make it go on more thin and more naturally because really a foundation is just water and sometimes silicone and little granules of powdered color and so the more watery the more thin the foundation would go on and the less cakey it would look and the more natural and I've certainly noticed that to be the case. Very very pretty color too. I like it. This is in the buff which is what I tend to wear which is kind of a neutral shade I don't really favor the super warms or the super cools. Buff is pretty much usually perfect for me or nude. Look how beautifully that smooths all over the face. I don't know if you can see that, but it is a very skin-like look. And really, I've been very surprised because I would have thought with as watery as this applies that it would not last on the skin, but it really has been. And last night, I had worn this foundation from seven in the morning to seven at night and my sister was still asking what foundation I had on so that was a good thing. Okay there is how it applies. Surprisingly it really evens out the skin and really has very good I would say almost full coverage. Now I always need a concealer under my eye though so I'll go ahead and apply that and just for the sake of time I'll go ahead and use my Tarte Shape Tape which is what I normally use. I've been trying some others though and I found some good ones which I'll share with you in future videos. 
but this one's just easier to grab because I'm used to it. And even though it is watery, it does not like drip off your skin. It's just a little more watery than normal foundations. Now obviously that does look a little dewy and I'm an oily skin person so I always need to go in with a setting powder. And this is the Peach Perfect Setting Powder by Too Faced. Love this setting powder. But I'll go ahead and take my e.l.f. complexion brush and just kind of bake that on and let it sit there for a few seconds. Just let it absorb any of that extra oil. And just since I'm getting ready for the day, I'm going to go ahead and apply my blush. And this is the Milani Luminoso. Absolutely love this blush. Take a little bit of that there and just kind of dab it on. Very, very natural looking peachy blush with just a little bit of luminosity in it, hence the name Luminoso. This is kind of one of those iconic blushes that YouTubers tend to love, and I totally get that. It goes on like a high-end blush, and it is just Milani, so I believe it's under $10. So there's that blush. And then I'll add a little L'Oreal Color Riche lipstick in the color 900, which is called Glossy Fawn. This is one of my favorites. I have it in my purse pretty much at all times. Very pretty nude. Then I'll go ahead and apply the Milani Keep It Full Lip Gloss in the color Luminoso to kind of match my blush. That is a very pretty gloss that kind of brings the blush in with the lips. Very, very pretty, cohesive look. Now, there is a last look at that foundation, and it is 7.45 in the morning, and I'm headed off to work. There's how it looks now. Very, very natural and skin-like, and I'll be checking in with you throughout the day. Okay, here is that foundation now, and it's about noon, and I haven't touched up. I did put lipstick on because my sister and I have a lunch meeting today. Someone's taking us to lunch. We usually do the taking, so it's kind of a pleasure to be taken to lunch, but I really do like this foundation, and my sister said she thought it looked very skin-like, and she asked what it was, which I think was positive, positive. Um, and uh, I really do like it. It just has a very natural skin look. It does not look cakey, and with my oily skin around noon, my foundation can start looking patchy and broken up. It seems to be doing pretty well around my nose. Maybe it's a little bit thin around my nose. It's a little thin on my chin, but for the most part, I think it looks pretty darn good. Okay, it is about four o'clock in the afternoon. It has been eight and a half hours since I put this foundation on at 7.30 in the morning, and I think it looks really very good. As you can tell, I've got very oily skin. It feels like an oil slick on my face a little bit. But the foundation looks good on my forehead. I don't think it's really rubbed off at all. Now around my nose, you can really see, <laughs> I put my finger on my nose, sorry. But around my nose, you can really see that it is rubbed off. And so you can really see those little veins that I have around my nose. And also the veins on my chin are showing through. And that is very normal to me in any foundation. Normally around the noon hour, I'm going to have to be touching up with a little bit of concealer. And I really did not do that here. You can see this vein here. But basically, I am very happy with how this foundation looks. So far, so good. I am really thinking that I do like this foundation and it truly does look like skin. Okay, here I am at the end of my day and I am exhausted. It is 9.15 p.m. I've just gotten home from a very busy day at work and I did not mess with my foundation at all. However, I did add some lipstick and I did add a little bit of blush around the noon hour because I was looking like a ghost. However, this is how the foundation looks and this is, I put it on at 7.30, so 12, 14 hours later and here it is and it really is very beautiful. And as you can tell, it just has a really glowy, kind of a natural look really kind of a skin look. I really do and like the way this foundation looks. It really looks very, very natural and very, very skin-like. And as we get older, it's kind of rare to find a foundation that actually helps our skin look dewier and younger. And speaking of dewier and younger, I wanted to share with you some products that I was sent in PR. They are vitamin C products and they're from Avon Company. And those of you who saw my AM PM skincare video recently, which I'll link below, realized that I did not have a vitamin C product in there. And that is because I was getting really tired of the vitamin C serums that I was using turning yellow and just not being effective anymore very, very quickly. And so I was really interested when Avon sent me these products and two of them I really, really liked and one of them was not for me. 
Basically, the two that I really liked were the Avon Anu Vitamin C Brightening Serum. And just like this foundation kind of brings on the glow, vitamin C is supposed to do that as well. This is a 10% vitamin C serum and it is stable so it does not become non-functional like those other vitamin C serums. And this serum says to use it twice a day in the morning and the evening. And this was too tacky for me to use in the morning. I tried it once in the morning under my SPF and I did not like it at all. But in the evening you put it on and although it does feel a little bit tacky when you first put it on, by morning time your skin just feels nice and dewy and refreshed. It feels just beautiful. And I've been using this for about the past week and a half. In fact, you can see there I'm already down maybe a quarter of an inch on that. And I really do like this and I feel like it really is brightening up my skin. Vitamin C is an antioxidant which really wakes up our skin and helps bring on the glow. And I plan to keep using this and I'll report on it in a future video. And they also sent me this new vitamin C lip balm. And both of these products are 10% vitamin C and they say it is the strength of like 30 oranges or something like that. I won't put this on my lips now, but it just goes on very smoothly, like a wonderful, smooth kind of a chapstick. It doesn't pull on your lips at all. It's very, very nourishing and moisturizing. And whenever my lips feel a little bit dry, I do put this on and I've been carrying it around in my purse. I really do love this product. But the third product they sent me, I was not too jazzed about at all, quite honestly. This was the Avon Anew Vitamin C Warming Peel Exfoliant. And you're supposed to use this several times a week. It's a little cream and you take it out and you rub it all around your face. And as you rub it on your skin, it kind of heats up, which is very, very strange. And they say that that heating sensation is actually opening your pores and pulling out impurities. And I really don't buy that. I just think the warming sensation felt a little bit weird. And to me, this product seemed a little bit like a gimmick, but the other two products I truly love. And if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in all things that help us 50 plus beauties look our best, then I hope you'll click that bell and you'll be notified of my future videos. And if you could give this video a thumbs up and or share it with a friend, that would be great too. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been reading from these Miracles Now cards from Gabrielle Bernstein. Just gives us a little something positive to think about for the day. Let's go ahead and choose a card. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, this is a good one. I release my need to be perfect and I center into the commitment to serve the world more love. I release the need to be perfect and I center into my commitment to serve the world more love. Friends, this is an absolutely perfect card for me and it's something I've been struggling with for quite some time to release my need to be perfect, to be a perfectionist, because really that is a character flaw. It really doesn't do us any favors. I started my life as a child in a very disorganized, disheveled environment. I love my parents to death and they were wonderful parents, but the environment that we lived in was really kind of disorganized and I vowed when I was a child that if I could just make everything around me perfect enough that my life would be happy. But the older I got, I realized that that perfectionism really wasn't doing me any favors. So friends, just for today, let's really work hard to release our need to be perfect, to release that perfectionism gene. Let's realize that the way to true happiness and contentment is to get our thoughts off ourselves and to learn to serve others and the world with love. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.